top three, top five market cap tokens. If you are going to go out the risk curve, do it for 10% of your capital or less. Just be careful out there. Don't f*** this up. This is a gift, but you can screw it up by getting greedy, getting FOMO, and doing stupid shit you shouldn't do. Just don't do that. If you want to have some fun, catch an old coin season, do it with your 10%. Who knows? You might make a 10x on it. Chances are you'll end up with a bunch of embarrassing stuff in your wallet that goes to zero over time. That's the way it works. But your ETH, Solana, Bitcoin, I'll do just fine. Wait a minute, everyone. Welcome to Bitcoin Zella, your platform for daily cryptocurrency analysis and news. Our mission is to keep it simple. Bitcoin Zella offers engaging information that is easy to understand. Our analysts keep their eyes on the latest news to provide valuable insights via email. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Join our community of 10,000 subscribers and experience the new edge with Bitcoin Zella. Subscribe now. In today's video, Rommel Pal shares his bold prediction about why he thinks that Ethereum will outperform Bitcoin in the next cycle. Raul also gives us his advice to make more gains from the next crypto bull run and his best three coins to invest in right now. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the video. And it's very normal for crypto summer, uh, spring, for Bitcoin to outperform. And then as we come into crypto summer that we're transitioning into now, ETH starts to outperform Bitcoin. This is a terribly unpopular thing to say because people say, well, ETH is dead. It's a dead chain. It's not working. Blah, 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 blah. Just wait. Have patience. You'll see. Will it outperform Solana? I very much doubt it. Solana's earlier in the adoption curve, so it means the percentage changes are larger. So that's how I see it with that. You can see the start of Crypto Spring, which was the breakout of this pattern and the slight acceleration. That's as we're getting to warmer days of spring, as it were. Satoshi Nakamoto, the pseudonymous creator of Bitcoin, decided to move on to other things 13 years ago. When they sent the last communication to Bitcoin's first developers on April 23, 2011, Bitcoin core developer Mike Kern previously revealed the final instructions as part of an email exchange with Nakamoto about the challenges and technical aspects of implementing Bitcoin functionalities to control spam using BTC as collateral. I do hope your Bitcoin continues to be developed into an alternative client. It gives Java devs something to work on and it's easier with a simpler foundation that doesn't have to do everything. Satoshi's final message also adds this sense of passage. I had a few other things on my mind as always. I moved on to other things. It's in good hands with Gavin and everyone. Nakamoto's identity remains one of the tech world's biggest mysteries, since no conclusive evidence has been found, which makes the communication with Bitcoin's first adopters a rich source of information about the early days of the cryptocurrency. Various individuals have been speculated to be the original crypto inventor. One of the most controversial cases involved Craig Wright, an Australian computer scientist who claimed to be Nakamoto in 2016. Wright faced a lawsuit by the Crypto Open Patent Alliance, Kyope, with United Kingdom Judge James Mellor ruling that he did not create Bitcoin last March. Satoshi first introduced the world to Bitcoin with the publication of the Bitcoin White Paper on October 31, 2008, which was circulated among a mailing list of cryptographers. The paper outlined a method for using a peer-to-peer -peer network to create a system of digital transactions without relying on trust or third-party involvement. Satoshi continued to work on Bitcoin software until 2010, when they handed over control to other developers. Since then, Bitcoin has grown to become a $1.3 trillion asset. Let's talk about crypto summer, just in a very simplistic terms. Here's the chart of the seasons. So spring is green. We had a great spring this year. Summer is when a lot of the gains start to happen. Fall was tricky last time around. We got a stunted cycle. If you remember that kind of double toppy style thing, it was highly unusual. 2017, 2013 were more typical, obviously, of the fall season. And so we don't know how this one's going to play out. I think it plays out more like 2013, 2017, but it's all assessing the odds as we go. But right now, this is the easy year, the summer. So we should just be able to set it, forget it, and let the gains accumulate. 
And then very soon, very soon, like in the next month, next month and a half, we will start to hit the banana zone. And this is what happens when you hit the banana zone. Things get absolutely wild, which is the really magical part of why this is the greatest macro trade of all time, is this part. And it's coming. Will it look the same as others? Who knows? Some have been absolutely crazy. Others were more difficult, like the last cycle. But that's usually what happens when we hit altcoin season from summer and then into fall. Things get really, really exciting. Okay, well, I hope I got across to you all the things I was trying to explain in the video. How big this is, how not to f*** up, how important this is. And again, I'm going to reiterate the don't fuck this up. Don't use leverage. Because it's a way for people to take your coins. Store your coins carefully. Don't let anybody else have them. I think most of the big exchanges are safe. But to be extra safe, I don't really leave stuff on exchanges. It's all in cold storage. Yeah, it's a pain to set up, but once you do it, you feel safer. Then don't FOMO into stupid shit because your friends are making money or you're seeing some bloke making money in a mean coin. If you want to do stuff outside of the three or four big crypto um, cryptocurrencies, then do it with 10% of your money. There you can have fun. There you can be a gambling, filthy degen. But don't, don't do that with the bulk of your assets because you think you're never going to get a chance. How are you going to grow your two grand? It will compound over time. Just trust me on this. And then you can play for the 100Xs, whatever you do. You will probably lose money in that uh, in that 90% bucket. When I look at my own allocation, my own allocation is probably 1% um, memes and shit like that. Most of it is just straightforward. And I don't use leverage. And even though I've used leverage over years, I don't want to use leverage in a market that is this volatile. Bitcoin kept up pressure on key resistance into April 24 as research showed whales buying the dip. BTC price action circled $67,000 after a boost at the latest daily close, still within a narrow range, bulls continued to grind away at nearby order book liquidity. According to current figures from monitoring resource coin glass, a bid wall of around $35 million on Binance was taken into the daily close, with the bulk of ask liquidity now sitting between $67,000 and $67,500. A one-month view of the order book illustrates how dynamic changes in liquidity placement impact overall price action. Trading resource material indicators wrote in part of a post on X. The NET effect of blocks of Bitcoin ask liquidity moving lower, and some blocks of bid liquidity moving higher tightens up the active trading range to roughly $62,000, $68,000. An accompanying chart additionally showed trading behavior among classes of Bitcoin whales. Of interest is the $1.10 million order category, which in contrast to others, increased exposure through April. This adds to existing findings from research firm sentiment, with new analysis now revealing FOMO on the part of wallets with a balance between 1,000 and 10,000 BTC, $66.7 million, $667 million. Bitcoin's key whale tier holding 1K 10K dollar BTC are supporting this rise and have now accumulated 266K more dollar BTC since the start of 2024. Sentiment wrote in next commentary. This translates to an accumulation of 1.24% of the entire supply. The crowd is also showing a high degree of FOMO. And do not forget to subscribe to Bitcoin Seller. The most important news will reach your inbox on a daily basis and for free. I do not know why you have not subscribed yet. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more daily updates. Remember, knowledge is power, and we're here to empower you on your financial journey. Until next time, Happy investing.